All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very bro sciencey video. But as I'm about to get rid of um, my Note 20 Ultra, I kind of wanted to make a comparison video. Like I said, this is not going to be a super technical video. As you can see, these phones are smudged up, and you really can't tell which is which. So that's kind of kind of where I want to start off. So both these phones have 6.9 inch displays. Um, you know, they both have 1440p displays and, um, uh, this one's actually the Note 20 Ultra that's super smudged up. I don't even have a screen protector on it. You can see there's some scratches here, but, um, and then this is the S22 Ultra. So looking at these phones, they both have 12 gigs of RAM. They both have pretty fast processors. Um, this one is a 512 gigabyte model. Um, and then this is a 128 gigabyte model. So, you know, those are going to differ based on what you purchase. But just from a what would I buy perspective, I would probably go for, if you can find it at a good price, a 256 gigabyte model of this phone. One thing that I love about the Note 20 Ultra is that it does have 12 gigs of RAM. I really hate the fact that Samsung, like, went back and started offering base, you know, S models with eight gigs of RAM. And I think it's kind of gone under the radar because a lot of people don't notice. They don't max out, you know, their RAM very often. And uh, quite honestly, these processors in, uh, have gotten more efficient and memory can switch a lot faster. So it's not super noticed unless you're filming and editing things on the phone or playing games. Um, I notice it. So I'll cut on both phones. And I mean, the screens on both of these are just super dope. I, like, honestly, guys, I've done, like, comparisons. I was sitting this weekend, um, and I had YouTube pulled up, and I was watching a video on both of these. And, like, I honestly had to flip the phones over to see, you know, which was which. I do like the S22 Ultra's back more, but this one doesn't look bad. I mean, this one still looks like a good phone. So we'll take both of these out of the case. So, all right. So both phones are naked. And I have this one covering up the uh, serial and all that. But, I mean, both of these phones look great. As you can see, this is a fingerprint magnet. But, I mean, this is a very good design. And one thing I love about this phone is that it has a 5X optical zoom. And it's 12 megapixels. For some reason, the 10 megapixel count for the 10X and 3X on this phone and the S21 Ultra and the S23 annoys me. I just want 12 megapixels at least on each camera. The selfie one, not so much. Um, this one has a 10 megapixel and then this one has a 40. I don't like that they walk that back to a 10 from the uh, S20 Ultra to the Note 10 Ultra, but unless you really want a phone with later and greater specs, I would go with the Note 20 Ultra because you could find this for around 300 bucks, maybe 350. And then this one, you're going to pay like 600 bucks. And so, I mean, it's better. The cameras on this phone are better. I'm not going to do comparison. I'm not going to show you clips, side-by-side -side clips. I went in the woods and took some footage. Yes, the S22 is better, but I mean, is it twice as good or worth $300 more? I don't think so, unless you're producing content. And if you are and you can afford it, I would go with this phone. Um, I will say this one definitely does better in low light. I took, I closed all the windows and blinds and shot some footage at home. And I was just sitting with like no lights. This was during the daylight, so it wasn't pitch black here. But I mean, this one did a lot better with the low light. Um, but again, if you're not producing content... That's not going to be a big deal. And if you are, or even shooting your family, you're not going to shoot in low light. You're going to keep the house lights on. You're going to open blinds and windows to get as much light in to capture, you know, the best versions of um, those times as you can. So, or the best footage of those times as you can. I would say both of them have decent battery life. So, I mean, that's a top thing for me. Battery life, screen, cameras and speakers. And then mics are kind of secondary. Going back to the cameras, I mean, the difference, unless you're comparing side by side, is really negligible to the average consumer. You can do a great job with this phone. Just get it in good light. 
um, or better than no external lights on in your home or apartment or whatever, or wherever you're shooting, library, whatever. Um, this has, you know, a 10x zoom. And honestly, sorry, I'm jumping around, but when I filmed with this camera, I was just sitting here and I used 4x digital zoom on both of these. And a lot of cases, the Note 20 Ultra did better than the S22 Ultra. And then when I use 10x zoom, which is a digital zoom on this one and optical on this one, the difference was negligible. And then one case, the Note 20 Ultra looked better. So I've had 10x zoom phones before. I had the S21 Ultra, and I'm not impressed with that zoom lens. Um, I think it gets you there, but the quality is not worth snapping. Like if you want to take a picture of something to say, hey, I saw Tim at the mall, and here's a shot you know, I got of him from being on the second floor when he was walking on the first floor. That's one thing, but like, you know, other than that, it's really not great footage. So I think the 5X is a good compromise. And these other two cameras, the wide angle and the standard lens are very, very comparable. So camera wise, I mean, it's a watch and it's definitely not $300, $350 better um, unless you just want that edge. And the same thing with the selfie cameras. I didn't test those too extensively, but you're not going to be using that a lot. Maybe if you're doing like a video call or something like that, but even still, you're not recording and uploading that, you know? And even if you are, you're probably going to be doing it in good daylight, broad daylight, and these will both do a great job. So moving forward, um, speakers. Speakers on both these phones, I'm not going to show you a speaker test, but I will say... And it could be a fluke, but the Note 20 Ultra speakers sound fuller than the S22 Ultra. Now, it could be that there's some QC issues with this phone, and maybe it is better in general. But I've tried multiple videos, and the difference is negligible. You wouldn't be able to tell unless you're listening to them side by side. But um, And they both have great speakers. For a smartphone, I mean, even compared to my iPhone 13 Pro Max, I mean... It's they're still great, and you really, if you heard all three of them side by side, you're like, I really can't tell. You have to listen super closely. So that's a wash. Um, and then the screens, same thing with the screens. I was watching YouTube videos side by side, both at 1440p, and I lowered this one to 60 hertz. And like this one was slightly better, but I really had to look hard. It was like five percent better i mean really really not that much better All right and fyi both of these phones are super fast i mean i know this one's not getting like android updates anymore but both of these are incredibly fast all right so i've maxed out the volume or excuse me the brightness on both of these phones and i mean it's harder to tell while filming this but i mean both of these screens are absolutely gorgeous and the iphone is actually kind of toning down the colors on these but yeah so it's not the greatest representation of what they can do but um you know if you get a chance if you have a note 20 ultra and you're in a store or you have a friend with an s22 ultra i mean just ask them to look at it and and you'll see what i'm saying and like i said both these phones are super snappy um just no lag 12 gigs of ram fast processors i will say this phone is heavier and thicker um, you can definitely tell this one's thinner and lighter. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And then like battery life on both of these is good. They're not as good as iPhones. I'm just going to say that, but I mean, they will go all day, but you're not going to go into a second day with these. And when you're shooting video, I mean, they will go down pretty fast. Like as far as getting hot, like I was filming with both of these outside the other day. They didn't, I was shooting 4k. They didn't get super hot. I mean, they're not going to be battery champs. You know, there has to be a balance there. If you want like an excellent screen, great speakers, a ton of brightness, you're going to sacrifice some battery life, especially with the high end processor, even though they are, you know, more efficient. Like the S Pen differences, like S Pen differences really aren't anything like super different. Like you see how this, well, this one writes, this is the Note 20 Ultra, this is the S22 Ultra. 
And, I mean, honestly, yeah, the latency is probably a little better on this one, but just I really can't tell. Like, if I was taking down a quick memo and I had the uh, the Note 20 Ultra and my friend had the S22 Ultra, I wouldn't be like, oh, my gosh, your pen is so much better than mine. Like, that's not a thing. I would recommend getting the Note 20 Ultra, the 256 gigabyte version. This one does have an SD card slot, micro SD card slot. So if you're a huge fan of that, that's great, but this one has super fast memory, so having the 512 version of this, uh, 512 gigabyte version of this makes me not lament uh, the missing micro SD card slot as much, or at all, really. Anyway, these are great phones to check out, and uh, just wanted to do a quick bro science review in comparison.